And this week marks 100 years since the white hurricane of 1913 devastated the Great Lakes area. WBKB reporter Lindsay Adeluka spoke with a maritime historian today to reflect on the deadliest storm to ever strike our great waters. Beware the gales of November. Those words ring true more than ever this week as we all remember the deadliest storm to hit our area 100 years ago. Today, actually, uh, November 7th is the the beginning of a great storm that happened 100 years ago. Eight of the 12 total losses occurred right here in Lake Huron. A combination of weather fronts that created immense devastation to commercial shipping in 1913 and took the lives of over 250 people. Of the 12 vessels that have uh, that were total losses, uh, four of them are still out there. There are two, including uh, it, within Lake Huron that have not yet been located. Lasardi is one of the many who research and investigate shipwrecks in our area, hoping to find more valuable artifacts to put on display. We also have here in the building a, the collection of archaeological materials for the state of Michigan that came off of shipwrecks, and the, the largest percentage of those materials are right here in Alpena. All of these artifacts around me were recovered before the 1980s, and although the White Hurricane of 1913 was 100 years ago, coming here is like taking a step back in time. Included in this collection we have materials from one of the ships that was lost in the 1913 storm, the Regina. It was a package freighter that sank off Lexington. There were quite a valuable cargo on board, primarily liquor. There was a lot of scotch on board and the state actually gave a permit to the salvers to recover about 3,000 scotch bottles. Which is just one example of the many artifacts on display that give everyone a closer look into the magnitude of these famous shipwrecks that struck our Great Lakes a century ago. In Alpena, Lindsay Adeluka, WBKB News.